This conference will now be recorded. Good evening, guys. So we'll start with the good Excel class now. Very good evening, Mark. We'll continue now. So any doubt in yesterday's class of regarding Excel, you can let me know. If no one says anything, then I will consider as no doubts. Okay, so fine, we'll continue. And I want I have an information, guys. See that your classes will for Excel will be held till your Friday. Till Friday will be your Excel class. That is the last class will be on Friday. And about the exam, exam will be conducted to you on Monday and Tuesday. It can be any day, either Monday or Tuesday, not the exact date, I don't know. But it can be any day, Monday or Tuesday, either Monday or Tuesday. So fr Friday is the last class of this online classes, Excel. Okay, if at all you have any doubt on Tally or in Excel, anything, you can ask me before Friday. So that will rectify all the doubts. Okay, and after that, we won't be having a time also. We won't be logging in also after Friday. So Friday is your last class. Fine. Now let's continue. So in the last class, I've told you what is this Excel is about. Okay. What is this Excel? How to use this home menu? Everything I've told you. Now what I am having is now say I want to apply any. I want to calculate something. So to calculate something, what I should do is suppose I want to calculate 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 something. I just want to calculate this. See when I give this and enter, it is not showing me anything. It is not adding up. In case if at all, if I want to add this, if I want to add this to apply any condition or any formula, the first thing what I should do is the first thing what I should do here is I have to give equals to before I start any formula okay before starting any formula or any calculation you have to give first equals to after that you can give 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 and uh, so you're getting a total like this you we can give so to start any formula what are the thing we have to give is equals to so now say now i want to do this formula I'm not giving a equal to. So I'm just giving some condition here. So I want to multiply 2 into 3 plus 5 into 2 minus 1. This is what I have to calculate. Now someone calculate this and say me not in Excel. Directly you have to calculate. You should not do in an Excel. 2 into 3 is what? 6 6 plus 5 11 11 into 2 22 22 minus 1 so it is 21 this is what the answer you will get when you do this format 2 into 3 2 3 is a 6 6 plus 5 11 11 into 2 22 22 minus 1 it is 21 this is what the answer we will do when we do according to the format when I give the same thing. Now what I will do is I'll apply this equals to 2 into 3 plus 5 into 2 minus 1. Now I'll press enter. 15. So how we are getting this 15? Shabnam, how did you get 15? When I counted manually, I was getting this 
Yes, exactly. And here is board mass. Yes, it is board mass. So what is this board mass? So whenever we work on an Excel, we are using this calculation, addition, subtraction, anything. Whatever the formula you will use within a like multiplication, subtraction, addition, always it will consider board mass. So what does this board mass means? B means bracket. Bracket, order. So what is this order is used for? Order, it will multiply within a brackets first. And then division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. This is how Excel will work. Whatever the type of formula you will give first, it will consider within a bracket what you have. Then it after the doing that, within a bracket, multiplication will happen. If there is a division, division will do. Then a multiplication and then a addition and then it will go with the subtraction. The same thing what I have given here is, first what it is considering is, so board mass. So B O D M A S. So M multiplication. A addition subtraction. So two into three is six. Five into two is what? Ten. Okay. So you have to do this. After this multiplication, then you have to add this. Six plus ten. Okay. Six plus ten. 10 so it is 16 minus 1 so this is what has happened so board mass it will always work according to the format in the excel so that is what we call it as board mass okay so like this we will be doing now let's do some addition also so i have given you a shade i've shared you this excel also to your whatsapp group i hope you are all uh, you all have downloaded it okay now let's do on this so normally, as I told you, what we will be doing is we will be making an addition. So addition, I've already told you how to do this. To start any formula, to start any calculation, what I will be doing is I'll be using equals to. When I use equals to, only then it will be considered. So 5 into 100 something. Okay, equals to 50 minus 25 equals to 45 plus 65 okay either whatever you do you do your multiplication subtraction addition or you can do the division also equals to 10 by 100 so like this also anything you do any formulas any condition whether you are doing addition subtraction multiplication anything always we will use this as with the equals to only we will use so that is what we will be doing now how and all we can add something a calculation that is what we are going to see here now i have a subject here business pharma something i've given a subject now i want to make a total of this so how i will do so first there are different methods now let's start with this first thing what i have to give i have to give a equals to then what I will be doing, I'll, I have to type the numbers. So here I'm not going to type the numbers. What I'm going to add this, 80. I'm having a 80, so I'm clicking on this. So see here, see in a formula menu, B13. It is in a B column and 13 through. So B13. Then now I'll press plus. After that, again, you have to select the second subject. So it is C13, again plus. After that, the third one, again plus. For each and every subject, each and every cell, when you keep selecting, it will be showing in a different color. Because you should not get confused, so they have given different colors for each and every cells when you keep selecting it. So plus. At the last, last subject I'm selecting, now I don't give a plus, I'll just press enter. So how we have done using plus, okay, using plus sign, using plus sign we have done, okay. So here what I did, I have selected the subject individually, one by one we kept selecting it, 
okay one by one you have to keep on selecting one by one and the next one what you have here is the next format what i'll be doing is using format so how will i do equals to so to add to make a addition i have a formula that is called as sum you have a condition you have a formula that is called as sum equals to you need to say type it as sum and then you have to open a bracket you can use shift and bracket to open this or you can press tab button from your keyboard so i'm using a tab so equals to sum open a bracket select the first subject give a comma go for the second subject see you can see here it's a number one comma number two comma number three comma like this everything second subject comma third subject comma fourth subject comma fifth subject okay fifth subject after this there is no other subject now close the bracket using shift key after you close press enter so how we have done using comma okay next one next one what i will be doing here is i'll be using a range to select nothing the same thing equals to sum open a bracket now i'll go for the first subject now i won't give a comma and all i'll use a little shift key and i'll select in the last subject without removing a hand from the shift until i select the last subject after selecting this now i'll close the bracket now see from b15 to f15 has been selected so let me show you once again this one equals to you have to press equals to sum open a bracket now select the first subject hold the shift key move till the last end then leave it after selecting all the subject close the bracket press enter now the total is done that is using a range that is selecting range okay selecting range we have done selecting range means selecting a whole area for a calculation selecting range next one next one is through a auto sum usually auto sum has to be done first but let me show you in some other places now i'll use a auto sum auto sum so where we will be using from the home menu you have this auto sum option in two places i'll show you where and all you have you have this auto sum here auto sum option here you have at the same time in a formulas here also you have a auto sum both are same okay both are same you can use from the any places okay you can use it from the any places so you can click on this auto sum so what it is selecting the range is selecting on the top but it is selecting wrongly you have to give this here you have to select correctly after selecting this you can press enter so no need to close bracket automatically it will come okay then using function using function so where to use this so instead of applying a formula here what i will do is i'll be applying here equals to sum tab okay then you can select the range here okay you can select the range and close the bracket enter so this is using function and then the last one is using a formula the shortcut key for addition that is alt plus equals to 
alt plus equal to is a shortcut key for doing auto sum for doing what auto sum this is a shortcut key which we are using it for auto sum okay so let me press here you should not press enter and all just go into that cell go to that cell press alt equals to a range will be selected if the range is selected wrong select the correct one select the correct range and you can enter so let me show you here here i'll use if i want to make the total of this alt equals to alt equals to this range is selecting here enter at the same time if i want to use auto sum here so see the range is also selecting here so enter let me show you the auto sum again here from the home menu here also auto sum enter okay let me use alt equals to now alt plus equals to enter so you can use any of the condition whichever you want i'm using alt equals to enter this is how you will be doing your calculations that is additions in this additions in this method which are the main thing which we will be using is using selection of range selecting a range and alt equals are the most important thing which we will be using other end all we can use it but when you will be making a calculation these are the two methods which most of the times we will be using okay so what we have done we have done with the addition okay we have done with the addition now we'll go for the next step next step so here is my sales and purchase of a goods the total cost of my purchase and total sales price hamari okay i'm having the sales price and purchase cost cost means expenses price means income now i want to know whether i have got it i have got a profit or loss how whether i got a profit or loss this is what i want to know now i'll go for this to know this what i will do equals to sales minus profit that is sales minus purchase so i'll press enter so it is 2000 this is my profit this is my profit this is what it is showing and is there any formula for calculating to check the subtraction to do the subtraction there is no formula okay no formula particular for there is no particular formula for subtraction okay there is no particular formula for subtraction so how we have to use we have to use to equals to and you have to select this sales minus purchase and in case if at all you want to try with some formula you can use the same thing sum you have to use sum open a bracket but remember you cannot use any of the techniques you have to select the number then give a minus and then you have to choose this closes enter like this only you have to do without this you won't be getting the answer okay let me give here also equals to i'll just give equals to i'll select the sales minus purchase let's do here also sales minus purchase i'm just selecting the cell and i'm doing this now i selected b29 minus c29 enter so here i'm getting a minus value what i'm getting i'm getting a minus value why because my sales is 45 but this purchase is more than a sales 48000 i purchased for 48000 rupees and i sold it for 45 rupees so that means i have a loss here so because of that i am getting a here as minus minus 3000 okay let's do one more equals to 10000 minus 9000 enter in case if i change somewhere suppose i'll change here as 
enter now see automatically my value will also change wherever you will change the value automatically there 5100 i am giving so minus 100 that means with the minus if you change anywhere if you change in a profit purchase also you can change it in a sales also purchase or sales anywhere you make a changes automatically wherever you have applied the formulas or the conditions calculation where you have done on that place the changes will definitely happen based on the formula what we have applied so there is no particular formula for this there is no particular formula for subtraction but you have for addition for addition you have a conditions that is you have a formula but subtraction there is no particular formula now we are going to see with the find out the cost per goods so what i will do here is okay i want to do a i want to find out the rate per the cost of a goods cost of goods so here i'll just give it as cost i want to find out the cost find out the cost of goods so there are 25 units, 25 units. You can take anything. So there are product, like let me give you a book, pen, marker, file. So I've given this. So I have, so let me give you as names. I have a 25 books and this books is costing 75. What is the total cost of this? So I'll give equals to 25 into, into 75. So I'm doing a multiplication. How I did it? So equals to, I'll select the units into product. Uh, that means rate. This is what I'm doing it. Enter. So like this, without formula equals to, you have to give, select the first cell into, then the second cell, you can select it and you can multiply it. In case, if you want to use a formula, if you want to use a formula, the formula is equals to, it is product, equals to product, open a bracket, select the first number, comma, second the select number, Close the bracket, enter. Let me show you once again. Okay, equals to formula product. You have to type it as product. See here, if you're getting like this, then the n number of formulas, you select the one which you want to do. So after selecting this, press the tab. Okay, I just typed that P-R-O, then I got the formula. I went to the product, then I press the tab. So I got the full formula product and even the bracket has been opened. Now I'll select the first cell, comma, select the second cell, close the bracket, and this is one method, equals to product, equals to product. I'm selecting this, I'll press a tab now. I'll select the first one and I'll select the range, two cells together. Holding a shift key, I'm selecting a both range and I'll press like this, enter. So this is how you will be doing the, with the formula. So for the formula, we call it as product. We call it as product. There is a formula which is called as product. You can use this. And the next one, we will see a division. Suppose, let's take it as rice. Milk. oil multigrain so this is what i've given so now the total cost of 50 kgs of rice is 4500 okay so the total cost of 50 kgs that is 50 kgs the cost is 4500 I want to know one, one kg rate. What is the cost of one kg? So what I will do is equals to, okay, price divided by 
number of cages and uh, okay let me show you once again equals to select the price divided by units press enter now in case if you want to use a formula for a division then for this no formula okay no formula for division okay there is no particular formula for division okay so next i'll go for this here in case if i want to use i can use the same formula which i use for multiplication product equals to product i'll press the tab 180 divided by this one. close the bracket enter so instead of using the bracket after giving a formula again i'm giving the same thing 180 divided by 5 so without using that also i can you do with this subtraction so it is your wish you can use without a formula without the formula name or directly you can do the division with the equal sign so any doubt till here anybody having a doubt anybody having a doubt you can let me know if anybody is having a doubt okay now let's go for the next sheet next sheet okay i have given some of the subjects with the marks with the marks okay now what i want to do is i want to check the total marks that each person how much they have got it so how many subjects i'm having here is five subjects if at all you want to in a hat some other subjects three four subjects if you additionally want to insert it you can insert and do that and after that you can give a calculation now let's go with the calculation i have a subject here business statistics commerce accounts and gst so this one we are going to do so business and commerce are the same thing so i'll rename this commerce into income tax okay i'm renaming this to income tax now what we will do is we'll do a calculation that is total total means addition so what we can do we will use a formula equals to equals to sum open a bracket go for the first subject hold the shift key come to the last one close the bracket press enter let me show you once again equals to sum open the bracket go for the first subject hold the shift key come to the last subject Till the last subject not the total column till the last subject close the bracket and uh, the last one again i'm doing this last time equals to sum open a bracket go for the first subject okay hold the shift key select till the last subject that is till the last cell till where you want to make a total then close the bracket press enter so I'll get the total. So I'll go for the least score. What does this mean least score? I have a subject here, business, stats, income, accounts, and GST. So I want to find out in which subject this Bhagya has scored the less marks, least marks. So I want to find out in which, what is the least score that she has scored, I want to know here. So what I will do is I'll give equals to, equals to, then what I want least score for least score, finding the least score, the formula that we will be using is minimize. Minimize. Now see, see what I'm getting here, min. So there is no full form for this minimize and all. You have to just choose it as min equals to min. Open a bracket. Open a bracket. Now you go for this 
go for the first subject hold the shift key select till the last subject close the bracket enter for least score the formula what we are applying is minimize okay minimize we are using it okay so minimize i'm using it so to do this what you are using the formula is here we are using min we are using as what min that is minimum score to find out the minimum score to find out the minimum score we are using a formula that is called as min okay here what i'm using is i'm using the condition sum i'm using a formula called sum okay so let's do this minimum score again i want to find out for anushya how much is a least score equals to min open a bracket go for the first cell from where you want to consider i'm selecting the first subject and i'll select till the last subject till the last subject close the bracket enter okay and i'll show you for the last time also equals to minimum open a bracket go for the first subject go for the first subject hold the shift key select till the last subject close the bracket enter so you'll get your minimum score the less score what you have got the less score what you have got you will be finding here the next one highest score if i want to find out the highest score that means highest one is maximum to find out the formula which i'll be using is max i'll be using max so let's use this equals to max max open a bracket same thing i'll be selecting the range from the first subject till the last subject close the bracket and press enter let me do once again equals to maximum that is max open a bracket go for the first subject select till the last subject close the bracket enter i'm holding a shift key till i select the last subject okay equals to sum open a bracket go for the first subject hold a shift key and select till the last subject then close the bracket leave the shift key okay then you can press the enter so sum minimum maximum three things you can do this okay and the last one one next the sorry then the next one what i'm going to see here is the next one what i'm going to see here is average that is the percentage of your total marks so how many subjects i'm having i'm having a 500 subjects that is total 500 marks five subjects so how will i have to find out equals to equals to total total divided by 500 and uh, so you'll be getting like this okay you will be getting 66 percent you have scored 66 percent so if I want to give a percentage, I'll go to home and I'll give this percentage. So it is 66%. So without doing this, without using this equals to total divide. So total score by divided by the total mass that is equals to total mass obtained by divided by total numbers, total um, now total score, which has to be there. That is 500 total subject. Okay, when I do this, I'm getting 66. So if I have to use a formula equals to average, for average, there is no shortcut key. There is no ABG and all. It is average, full name, full name equals to average. I'll open a bracket. Okay, so average, you need to type fully or select the when, when you'll be getting the formula, you have to select it again. Let me show you once again. You have to give a equals to a v g okay so this is wrong you have to select this average full average you have to select it open a bracket 
Now, what should I do? I should select a total. No, that is wrong. I'll select the same subject process with the range, holding a shift key till the last subject, close the bracket, enter. So it is 82.80%. 82.80%. Here also I'll apply the same thing. Equals to average. I'll select the average, open a bracket. Let me go for the first one, first subject. Select till the last subject, close the bracket, enter. So I'll remove this. I'll just go for this. I'll remove this percentage. Okay. I'll remove this. I'll change this percentage into general. Now it is 66.4. Okay. If I want one more number, I'll give like this. 66.40. Point wise. Now let me go for the next condition. Let me apply once again. Okay. I'll apply once again. Equals to average i'll select this average press the tab your bracket will open go for the first subject where you have hold the shift key select till the last subject close the bracket leave the shift key and then press enter okay this is how you will be doing so any doubt till here to find out the sum minimum maximum average anything you please let me know So if I have to edit the cell, if at all I want to edit the cell, I'll press F2. Then you can edit it anything. Then you can type, press enter. To edit a cell, it is F2. So now I want to know whether you people have any doubts in this total, minimum, maximum, average, anything. Then you please let me know. Guys, okay, then I'll go for this if condition and please everyone concentrate on this. Everyone concentrate on this if condition. This is a logical condition I'm using here. Okay, I'm using in the mathematical function. I'm using a logical condition also, one of a logical condition also I'm using here. What is the condition that I'm going to apply is if any person, if any person who is scoring, okay? So this is there are five subjects. If any students who scoring greater than 400, for this person, I'm giving us A grade. Okay, I'm giving a A grade. And one who is scoring greater than 350, greater than 350, less than 400, for them, I'm giving a B grade. Greater than 300, for them, I'll be giving C grade. Okay. Then, again, greater than 250. Or, in case, let me give it as less than 300. Less than 300, in that case, they'll be getting B grade. You can give anything. Okay. Less than, so or you can give it as greater than zero also. Greater than one also, you can give it as degree. So I'm giving a condition like this. If, a, if any student who is scoring more than 400, they'll be getting an A grade. And B grade, if it is greater than 350. C grade in case of 300. And D grade, less than 300. So this is what the condition, what I'm going to apply. Now everyone, listen carefully how we are going to apply. To apply this condition, to apply what? To apply the condition based on this conditions, four conditions I'm having, I have to apply on this. Okay, I have to apply a condition on this. So what is my condition? I'll give equals to. First thing equals to. So the formula which I'm going to use here is if. If open a bracket. So what it is greater than 400, what must be greater than 400? So it is my total score. If this total score is greater than 400, okay? If this total score is greater than 400, comma, okay? Open a double quote. Then what it is, it is A grade. 
a grade you can type anything only a also you can type or you want if you want to type it as a grade also you can type like this close the double quote give a comma okay give the comma okay so now what i'll be doing is i'll be applying the another condition along with this okay i'll be applying the another condition so multiple condition we will be using here so let me show you one by one so the first condition only for this total i've applied here okay Now what I am doing here is, see here, can you see the screen? What I am applying? So equals to if condition, I have selected H3. H3 means this one. Okay. H3 means the total one. Okay. That if this total is greater than a 400, that means A grade, comma. After this, after this, okay. After this, what I will be doing here is, now see here, I'll go for this. Now, I'll again use a if condition. If condition, open a bracket second time. When you open a bracket, you will get the next color. The bracket is showing in a next color. Again, I'll select the same total. If this is greater than, if this is greater than 350. If this is greater than 350, comma, what is my condition for this? If this is greater than 350, then open a double quote. Then it is called as B grade. Close the double quote, comma. After this, third condition. If, again I'm using if, I'll open a bracket. I'll open a bracket. Now see, it is opening in a purple color, third bracket. My first bracket was in a black, second in a red, third in a purple. Again, if my total marks, again the same thing, H3. If my total marks of the first student, if this is more than 300, if this marks is more than 300, in that case, comma, open the double quote, it is C grade. It is C grade, close the double quote, comma. And the last condition, again, if, again, I'm using if condition, open the bracket. So the next bracket, it is opening in a green color. The fourth bracket, it is opening in a green color. If this total mass is less than, less than 300, comma, then it is called as D grade, D grade. Close the double quote, close the bracket. So see, green color bracket is closed. Again, I'll close the bracket. So purple. Again, I'll close it red. Again, I'll close black. So black is my last bracket. First and the last bracket. Press enter. So it is C grade. So based on this total. C grade, if it is greater than 300, less than 350, then it is C grade. So let me apply once again. Okay, let me apply once again. See everyone equals to F condition. Ma'am. Yama. I cannot see ma'am the I cannot see you typing. Can you see now? Yeah, yeah, I can see now. Thank you, ma'am.
Okay, now see, again, I'm applying the formula equals to, equals to, if condition I'm giving, if, open the bracket, for what I'm doing, I'm doing for the second person, second person, second student, Anusha. So, her total score I'll select. If the student is getting, if scoring more than 400, if this person is scoring more than 400, comma, then, it, then we call it as A grade. A grade, close the double quote. Then, comma. Then, comma. After this, again, I'll use a if condition. If. I'll open a bracket. Now, see, it is opening in a red color. It is opening in a red color. Now, again, I'll use what I have to select H for the same thing. If this total score is greater than, what is my next condition? 350. If it is greater than 350, comma, then what it is, it is a B grade. Open a double quote. Give it as B grade. B space grade I'm typing. Close the double quote, comma. Then again, I'll use a third condition. For that, again, I'll type it as if. And I'll open a bracket. So this is opening in what? Purple color. What is my third condition? If the total is greater than 300, then it has to be a C grade. So what is the total? The same total, H4, that is 414. If this total is greater than, greater than what? 300. If this is greater than 300, comma, open a double quote, then it is C grade. I'm typing here as C grade. Close the bracket, comma. What is my last condition? Less than 300. So if this total marks, sorry, if, open a bracket, Open a bracket. See, it is opening now in a green color. So, black, red, purple, green. Then, if this total is less than 300, if this total is less than 300, comma, open a double quote, then it is D grade. Close the double quote. Now, all my four condition is done. Now, I have to close the bracket. When I close the bracket, first one, green bracket. The green has been closed. Now again, second bracket, purple has been closed. Third one, red has been closed. The last one, black. The starting of my bracket is also black. So the last bracket will also come as black one. Now you have to press the end. So it is A grade. Any doubt on this? Should I have to show you once again? If anybody is having a doubt, if you do, didn't understand, let me know. I'll show you once again. Okay, now see, equals to, I'm applying a condition. If I have to find out some reason, some information I want it, the answer I want is so and so, according to that, I'll be giving. So if I'm having a condition, if, open a bracket, open a bracket, if my logical test, logical test means based on what I'm going to check it out. So logical test. Logical test is my total marks. If this total marks is greater than 400, if this total marks is greater than 400, comma, open a double quote, A grade. I'm typing as A grade. You can just give it as A also, but you have to close a double quote. A grade, comma. Then again, my sixth con second condition, if, open a bracket. So what is my logical test? Again, the same thing, the total marks. If this total marks, I'm using the same total marks again and again for the third student, third student's total marks only, you have to select. Don't select first or second and all, okay? Second time when I'm applying a condition, I'm also using the same thing, the same cell I'm using it, total marks, okay? If this total is greater than 350 comma open a double quote 
then it is called as B grade. I'm typing as B grade, close the bracket, give a comma. My third condition again, if, open a bracket, open a bracket. What is my third condition? If this total marks, if this total marks is greater than 300, if this total marks is greater than 300, comma. What is my condition? Open a bracket, then it is called as C grade. Then it is called as C grade. Let me close the bracket, double quote, give a comma. Now my next condition, fourth condition, less than 300. Okay, less than 300. Now, if, open a bracket, if this condition, if this total score is less than 300, comma, open a double put, open a double put, then what it is, it is D grade, D grade, close a double put. So all my four conditions have applied. You have to close as much as bracket you have opened. So I'll close one by one until I get a black color bracket at the end. Then I'll press enter. So I'll get the gray. Okay. Now we'll go for the result. Result, how you will find out, you will see in which subject, how much marks is there. So what is the passing mark? Say the passing mark is 35. If the passing mark is 35, so in which subject I have scored marks, this I have to check manually and I have to give. So I have to apply a formula. So same way how we have applied here, if condition, so if this marks is greater than 35, pass. If this marks is greater than 35, pass. If this marks is greater than pass, like this I have to apply. So instead of applying many times here, I'll use a simple logic. I've already found the value least score, the less score here. Less score I'm already having here. So I'll, I know this is a less score. Based on this, now I'll apply. Instead of going and checking in each and every subject, I have a least score, the minimum score of from every subject, from all the subject. In one of the subject, the student has scored 34. So I know the condition. Now what I will be doing here is, based on this least score, I'll apply, instead of applying one by one, like this lengthy formula, lengthy things, so because for this, we have to apply to grades and all, we have to apply the so same formats. Instead of applying it in a lengthy manner, let me make it short, short and simple. So what I will do is I have a minimum score. I've already have, I'm already having a minimum score, the least score that the student has got. What I will do is I'll press equal to the same condition I'm using if I'll open a bracket. My condition here, it is very, very simple. This if this least score, if this least score is greater than or equals to, if this condition is greater than or equals to 35, if this condition, this cell, that is the, this cell which I've selected, this one, okay, I, okay, I3. So if this I3, the selected cell, if this cell is greater than 35 or equals to, if the selected cell is greater than or equals to 35, comma, then what is the answer? What is the exact answer I need? Then it is called as pass. I'll open a double quote. I'll type it as pass, close the double quote, comma. In case, if this is not equal to or greater than 35, then I'll open a double quote again and I'll give it as fail the false value, okay, fail, close the double quote and close the bracket, enter. So the least score is 34, so the condition says just fail. Now we will see one more thing, equals to, equals to if, if this least score, okay, sorry, I have to open a bracket, if, open a bracket, if this least score is greater than or equals to 35, comma, my condition says as pass, open a double quote, give it as pass, close the double quote, comma, open a double quote. If it is not, if not, then what is the answer is? It is fail. 
give it as a fail. Close the double quote. For both, I'm giving a double quote. Close the bracket, enter. So it is pass. Let me show you one more time. Equals to if, open a bracket, select the least score marks. If this is greater than or equals to, if this is greater than or equals to 35, comma, comma, open a double quote, type it as pass, close a double quote, give a comma, again open a double quote, type it as a fail, close a double quote, close a bracket, and uh, any doubt in this? Anybody having a doubt? Now see here, I have an option here. So in, instead of applying a formula again and again for each and every student, I'll go on this. I go on this. I have an option here, the box, the check box. I'll click on this and I'll drag like this. So how? I'll based on the condition, based on the formula, what I use here, the same formula will be applied for each and everything. Okay, you can use here also, you can use here also. You can double click also on that plus mark. See, go here on the dot, dot it, give a double click. Automatically, all the answers will capture for the next cells. If not, you can go here, go on this dot, you will get a plus mark. Plus sign will change in a black, drag and drop. There's also you can do, or you can just go here. When you get this plus mark, double click, okay? So sorry, double click on this, automatically everything will come. Why? Because here what I did is, so when I was applying a formula, here I've given less greater than 300. Here I've given less than 300. Two also is saying 300, 300. Because of that, I'm getting an answer as false. So what I will give here is equals greater than 300 or equals to 300. And I'll press enter. Now I'll get like this C grade. Okay. And what I have done here is here it is showing me the sum of this one. So I have to select here also. It is average I have to find. So I used things. I'll just click here, drag and drop. Okay. So like this, you have to do. So again, I'll give you, I'll go on this plus mark, drag and drop. So I'll get the result. Pass, fail, anything, you'll be getting. So we don't have a B grade, right? That means my marks, which has to be more than 350. So let me change here some of the marks for this person. This 34 will remain the same thing. 45, I'll change it to 80. So that means B grade. Okay, you can change the score also and check it out where, how, what is the grade it is changing. Any doubt guys doing this? Why no one no. answers me? Okay. Using this if condition, you can apply anyway. Even if you're working in a company as a HR and you want to maintain an MIS report for the selection list, for the selection of your employees. You have taken an interview of your employees. After taking the interviews, what you have to do is you will be having a number of resumes, number of employees who has taken, number of candidates who has attended the interview. Based on the interview, you would have selected some people. So you made us names in the Excel. Names list, you would have made it. Out of that list, you want to pick out those employees who is asking less salary. One first condition is less salary. Why? Because always when we are working for a company, who is asking a less salary and good candidate, those people we will choose. That is one thing. Second thing is based on the number of years experience. Almost most of the companies will choose precious, either precious, or experience that they are having less than two years, two or three years only they'll select. Why? Because when I'm selecting a fresher, I can pay a salary less 
and if it is less than two years, that means the experience doesn't count as much as I need it. So even I can train them by paying a less salary. So I want to make a list of selection report. In that case also, I'll use the same condition like this. What I'll be doing is if the experience is greater than two years or less than three years selected. If not, not selected like this. So I already have a tab, uh, tab table here created. So I have a two tables. OK, logical functions. I'm going for the third sheet. See, I'm having a text test and logical sheet. I'm going for this. Let me scroll down here. I'm having a condition. I'm having a auto list and the interview selection report. Now what I will be doing is let's go for a auto list first or this. One. OK, first as I gave you an example of interview. So let me choose with this itself. I have a candidate's name. I have a candidate's name who has attended my interview. Who has attended the interview. So these are their qualifications. OK, these are the qualifications and these are the experience. Now what I want is my condition here is I want the candidate who is whose uh, experience is equal to two years or less than two years. This is what is my condition. Now what I'll do is. Equals these are already selected already selected candidates in the selected candidates. I'm filtering. I'm filtering based on the experience by applying the if condition. So if let me open a bracket my logical test if this cell says as the experience less than or equals to two years comma two years comma then open a double quote then it is selected. Selected close the double quote give a comma. If that is if, if this is not matching my condition, which means less than or equals two years, then I'll say it as not selected. You can give it as not selected or you can select say it as rejected. Rejected. I'll close a double quote, close a bracket, enter. So it is rejected. Why? This experience is greater than three. So same thing. Let me go for this. I'm not using for fourth, so I know that. So I'll use for year equals to equals to if condition open a bracket my logical test. If this cell is less than or equals to two years, two years of experience comma comma then. Then I'll open a double put the condition says as the condition says as selected. If this condition is not matching, then I say it as rejected. I'll close the double quote, close the bracket, enter. So it is selected. There is a condition which I've applied. So because of that, it's showing in a green color. So I'll tell you what it is. I'll just re remove the clear things, clear rules. Everything I'll just clear the rules. Now even you can drag and drop also you can give a double click also. You see. We just drag and drop till the end. So you will be getting an answer whether the person is selected or rejected. You will be getting like this. Now. Based on the portal list you have conducted a census. After taking a census, you have a list of names of the candidate who is eligible or not eligible for voting that you want to find out. So I have a list of names of the candidate where I have connect, uh, conducted a census. So I want to know who is eligible for voting so that we can issue a voter ID. So that is what we are going to see. So now what I'll do is I'll give the same condition if. Open the bracket. Open the bracket. If this age is greater than or equals to 18 years, comma, then open a double quote. Then is eligible for voting. So I'll give it as eligible. Close the double quote. Give a comma. If this condition is not matching, again open a double quote. Then is not eligible. Okay, 
close the double quote, close the bracket, and uh, so 21 years that means eligible. So let me apply here also, or you can just go here, click here, drag and drop. So have a conditions. Let me clear this also. Clear the rules. Now see, I have an option here. I have given here so many things. selected and rejected. Everything is showing me in the same text length only. I want to highlight the text that is containing selected. So what I'll do is I'll select this range. I'll go here and I'll drag till here. Okay. I'm selecting from the first two till the last I'm selecting. I'll go for the conditional formatting. You click on this where I'm getting highest cell road. You can go from the top to bottom, dark, anything, whichever you want that you can select it. I'm using highest cell road from this. I want a text that contain text means a word text that contains contains as what selected. Selected which color you want to highlight it. So here. You can pick the color yellow color if you want. If you want a green color, if you want a red anything, whichever you want, whichever the colors you want, red text, red border if you want, or if you want the customized format, here also you can select it. Borders or fills, whichever the color you want, that you can select it. Okay, so what I will do is I'll select here as a green color, green fills. I'll click on a OK. Now see the person who wherever it is selected, it is showing me a highlighted one. The same thing you can also do here also. I'll go for this. Select this area where you got the answer. Select all the range. Go for this. Highlight here. I'm going for the text text that contains as what eligible. I want to highlight eligible or will give it for not eligible. I want to make it not eligible to be highlighted, not eligible. I want this to be highlighted in a red color itself. So I'll give it in a red color. I'll click on OK. So like this, you will be getting any doubt, guys. If you have a doubt, please let me know. Neha, are you there today? Yes, ma'am. Ah, yeah, please take down the attendance, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, I just took it. Okay. So if no one is having a doubt, that's all for today. We'll continue in next class. Practice all ma these things. What are, yeah, tell me. Ma'am, uh, you showed it yesterday to merge, no, ma'am. Uh, could you please show it again? How to merge the row? Myself. Okay, yeah, see, yeah. if you're typing something in one single cell, see, uh, let me show you here. If you're typing something in one single cell, okay, let me give it as National Institute of Computer Training. This is what I'm typing. So where I'm typing, I'm typing in C53. In the C column 53 row, I'm typing. I'll press enter. So this is capturing in where it is capturing in D also, D column also, and it is capturing in E column also, it is capturing in F column also. So if I want all these things, but when I go here, nothing is showing here. See D53, nothing is showing. E53, nothing is showing, and F53 is also not showing. It is only showing where. It is only showing in C53 because I typed this in C53 only. So when I want this, all these things to be merged into one single line. So I'll hold the shift key. I'll select everything. Then I'll click on this merge. OK, so like this before merging, let me just copy this. I'll copy here and I'll paste it over here. I'll copy the cell and I'll paste it over here, whatever I've typed. So what you have to do to merge this, you have to select this entire cell still where you are getting this one. Then you can click on this merge at center. So it will become like this. 
Now see, when I go for this, see, it is showing one box only. But whereas here, see, the cell is moving. But when, as, when I'm going for this, it is not moving. The whole thing has been selected. So wrap text, wrap text when I'm selecting this wrap text, it will show the, all the text in one single box, one single cell. Okay, that is one more thing. If you don't remember the shortcut keys, okay? If at all, if you don't remember the shortcut keys, what you can do is you can use the format that is called as swatches. What is swatches? Uh, let, me, let me show you. Say in case I want to apply a borders for this selected area, I don't know the shortcut key and there is no shortcut key also for this. Just assume that. So I'll press the Alt. When I press Alt, see here, I'm getting an option F, H, N. For home, it is showing me H. For insert, it is showing me N. So all this thing, for each and everything, you'll be getting one, one word. Okay, one, one letter you'll be getting. So I want to go for what? I want to go for home. I'll press H. So when I press H for each and every sections, each and everything, it is showing me some of the keys. So I want what borders I want. So for borders, I'll press B. In a borders, it is showing me again. So what I want is all borders. For all borders, it is showing me as A. All borders, A. So I'll press A. Now see, I got the borders. Okay. So now I'll remove this wrap text also. I'll remove this merge at center also okay now this is in one single cell itself if i want to merge this i'll press alt where should i go i have to go for a home so for merge set merge in center it is m i'll press m so what it is merge at center so it is c c so it is showing me like this okay it has been merged or let me again use Alt, H, merge, merge across, merge cell, unmerge. So unmerge this. Again, I'll press Alt, H, M. So merge across. So whichever you want that you can select it. If I want to wrap the text, Alt, H. So for wrap text, it is W. So wrap text. So like this, you can use this. This method is called as swatches. When you don't know the shortcut key and you want to use when your mouse is not working in your Excel, this is how you can use it. You just need to press Alt. Based on the Alt, you can select whatever you want. Okay, based on your cell which you are selecting, that you can select it. So in case if I want to change the color, change this color, green color, I don't want. I want to change the color, so Alt. So even this is in a home metal, home. So colors, background colors, I have to go for what? H, fillers, H, I'll go, I'll press H. So which color you want, that color, you can select it from this. So I'll go for this one. Okay, then I'll press enter. So the color is given. Like this, you can give any colors, whatever you want. It. Fine, this is also a method where you will be using a shortcut key without using the combination key combination alt or control without knowing this also you can use it by using the swatches the only thing is first you have to press alt you will get the alphabets according to that you can navigate whichever you option you want it fine any doubt anybody in that case fine this is the end of the class for today We'll see you tomorrow. You can, you, everybody practices. If anybody is having a doubt, please let me know. Tomorrow we'll discuss that. Okay. Fine then everyone. Bye. Take care.